Hey guys, Nick here from Nick's Taxes, back with another video for the weekend. Happy weekend, everybody. Today's uh, updated coronavirus news in Canada involves Toronto and Peel region moving into a lockdown starting on Monday. There's also a new model that shows that Canada could see 20,000 COVID-19 cases per day by the end of the year. Alberta reported a record 1,155 new cases on Friday. Manitoba surpassed 200 deaths. In Toronto, again, the Toronto Raptors were denied the request to play their home games in Toronto and will begin their season in Tampa Bay, Florida. And the biggest news of them all is the Canada Emergency Wage Subsidy has been extended to June 2021 and organizations can apply for the Emergency Rent Subsidy starting on Monday. So that's some great news. We knew that was on hold, that was pending legislation. And so we'll get into that in two seconds. But to begin, Toronto and Peel region are moving into a lockdown as of midnight on Monday. The Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford, made the announcement Friday afternoon. The new restrictions for these areas will include no indoor gatherings with anyone outside of a person's household although schools, daycares, grocery stores, and pharmacies will remain open. Individuals who live alone can have close contact with one other household, while outdoor gatherings are limited to just 10 people. The restaurants will be limited to takeout, drive through and delivery only, while non-essential retail and malls will be limited to curbside pickup or delivery only. This lockdown is going to last a minimum of 28 days, and the province said it will fine people $750 for violating public health rules. So we'll see what happens in these coming 28 days. Doug Ford also announced up to $600 million in relief for businesses impacted by these measures. And it's also good because Canada just put out the wage subsidy and the rent subsidy, so that is good news for businesses that are being forced to shut down. And over in Quebec today, there was a reported 1,259 new cases and 32 more deaths on Friday. Uh, the Premier of Quebec proposed a moral contract with residents in order to facilitate some holiday cheer. Uh, they've imposed that residents can have small gatherings with no more than 10 friends and family members around Christmas time if they voluntarily quarantine themselves one week before and after the gatherings. Also over in Nova Scotia, a high school in Coal Harbor is closed for the day after a second case of COVID-19 at the school was announced on Thursday. Coal Harbor, uh, the hometown of the great Sidney Crosby. All right, but let's go on to um, the big news, obviously the Canada emergency wage subsidy has been extended to June 2021, but it sounds like organizations can now apply for the federal emergency rent subsidy starting on Monday. So this new subsidy will cover up to 90% of eligible expenses for some businesses, nonprofits, and charities. Businesses, nonprofits, and charities hit financially by the pandemic will be able to apply for these uh, new benefits under the new rent subsidy program starting on Monday. So the Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy, also known as SERS, will replace the federal government's Canada Emergency Commercial Rent Assistance Program and will provide up to 90% support for qualifying businesses. Under the old program, it was launched back in April. It initially saw a low take up among businesses because the program required landlords to apply for the benefit on behalf of the tenants. This new SERS program allows tenants to apply directly to the federal government for the subsidy. Under the new program, organizations that have seen a decline of 70% or more in their revenues because of the pandemic are eligible for a 65% rent subsidy. The subsidy rate will obviously gradually decline for organizations that have seen uh, revenue declines below 70%. And the government will use formulas to calculate the decline in the subsidy rate. For example, an organization that lost 50% of revenues, for example, would get a 40% subsidy, while one that saw revenues drop 25% would get a 20% subsidy. 
So this new rent subsidy was announced. Uh, when it was announced, it was criticized for requiring that um, organizations pay their rent first before claiming it back through the subsidy. And the government tried to deal with that through the legislative, um, legislative amendment. Uh, and that's what was going on these past few weeks, but that failed because of a procedural error. So to ensure that organizations can claim the subsidy immediately, even if they have not paid the rent, the finance department has notified the CRA that it intends to pursue a legislative amendment to have rent owned, cons rent owed considered a qualifying expense at the time of the application, providing the organizations commit to using the subsidy to actually pay the rent owed. The CRA, uh, they are obviously administering the program much like all the other emergency benefits, will treat rent owed as though it has already been passed through parliament. So while the program is called the Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy, it also allows organizations to claim support for eligible expenses that go beyond rent, such as your property taxes, school taxes, municipal taxes, property insurance, and commercial mortgage interest. There's also an additional 25% subsidy called the Lockdown Support, and that will be available for organizations that have been forced to temporarily close or restrict their businesses because of a public health directive. For example, now Toronto going in the lockdown. Unlike the Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy Program, the lockdown support is not calculated on a gradual scale. To qualify for it, an organization must have seen their revenues decline by at least 25% from pre-pandemic levels as a result of a public health order such as a lockdown. Uh, one example here is that a restaurant uh, told that it can no longer serve diners inside would qualify for the support, but a takeout restaurant with few indoor tables would not. Also, the subsidy rates may change as of December 19th. So combined with the lockdown support, the new SERS benefit could provide some organizations uh, with a rent subsidy of 90%, but the program will run until June 2021, but the federal government is only guaranteeing the rent subsidy rate until December 19th, 2020. An official speaking on the background said the federal government wants to have the flexibility to change the subsidy in the event the situation either improves or worsens, so we'll see what happens there. Each organization can claim up to $75,000 of eligible expenses per location with an overall cap of $300,000 for each qualifying period. Right now, we are in period 9, which runs from October 25th to November 21st, and period 10 will run from November 21st to December 19th. Shortly before the end of period 10, hopefully the government will announce any changes in the subsidy rates for periods 11 and onward. Obviously, the Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy is backdated to the beginning of period eight, which began September 27th and went until October 24th. This is your Canada News Update and your Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy Update uh, as of the weekend. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you got value out of this video, I'd please uh, just ask that you drop this a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe as I will keep you guys uh, up to date with the most current information regarding Canada and the Canada emergency benefits. Uh, so yeah, thanks so much for tuning in to today's video and I will talk to you guys later. I'm Nick from Nick's Taxes and happy taxing.